You know, if there's one job, Lindsay, in Washington, I've always been sort of really intrigued by because I'm not sure how one qualifies it for it, except for just naming yourself one. <laughs> it's that of fact checker at mm -hmm. these media outlets. They just kind of somehow appoint themselves the you know arbiter of the truth and what's a fact and what's not. And, and that's not really how it really works. Um, but a lot of these folks who question the Trump administration and left, right, et cetera, are now openly admitting they won't be doing fact checking when it comes to the Biden administration. Take a listen. I assume the Biden, you know, I did five years of Obama uh, and uh, I assume the Biden uh, presidency will be a lot like the Obama presidency and that they will be responsive uh, and will be able to quickly back up what they're saying. And occasionally the president will go off kilter, particularly when he's, you know, speaking extemporaneously and not following something that had previously, that had previously been fact checked. Mm. Okay, just a real quick fact check. He said the five years of the Obama White House, and it's actually eight years. So, no, no, just <laughs> want to throw that out there because the fact checker just got that completely wrong. Um, but apparently, uh, a guy who is gaff prone, who has been accused of plagiarism multiple times, um, doesn't need to be fact checked, right? I just, that, that makes total sense, uh, especially seven days in. Uh, it seems like a bit of a double standard. To discuss this, let's bring in someone who's going to be completely objective, former White House advisor to the Trump administration and host of America First with Seb Gorka, Mr. Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Um, Seb, I know you're probably going to agree with this, that, look, <laughs> seven days in, no need to fact check these guys, straight as an arrow, find another job, Glenn Kessler, Washington Post can just take the next four years off. Let me just be very clear about something, Sean Spicer. I never called myself a fact checker, okay? That's on the record. <laughs> Look, we know, we know that sleepy, creepy Beijing Biden's favorite flavor of ice cream is chocolate chip. What more do you need to know from Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Kessler? I mean, that's it. We've got it. The fact that we've got viral video, guys, if you haven't seen it, watching the amazing Newsmax of yesterday, Biden being incapable of doing this, taking a pen and putting it in his pocket, saying, oh, oh, uh, I can't do it, and then switching it to his pants pocket. Don't worry about nuclear launch codes. We know the flavor of ice cream that he likes. Yeah. Oh, look, I did it. There you go. <laughs> nice. You're qualified then, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I we don't even need... look. I didn't even look. I just put it in my pocket like that. <laughs> well, let's be honest. If I'm going to fact check you, I bet you you're practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just circle back on that one. Um, you know, the interesting thing about all this is uh, that, you know, we don't have to fact check because they're just raising the bar, according to Brian <laughs> Stettler, one of my favorites. Take a listen. These headlines from, from Axios and other websites point out that, that Biden's plan is dull by design. So is he making the news boring again? Let me answer all of those questions the way Biden would. Come on, man. No way. The Biden White House is happily, willingly, gladly raising the bar up. They are saying, hold us accountable. We will tell you the truth if you don't call us out. Oh, man, we can just sit back. This is great. They're going to tell us the truth. We don't have to do our job as journalists or reporters now. People don't because they raised the bar. Lindsay, do, you just committed fake news on live <laughs> Newsmax. You called Brian Stealthy Boy, don't call me Mr. Potato Head. You called him a journalist. How dare you do that to yes. real journalists? Yeah. Let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. Robert Gates, who served in a Democrat administration as CIA director and then Secretary of Defense, said that Joe Biden was wrong on every major issue for four decades, but we don't need to fact check him. That's the reality. You know, Seb, going back to Brian Stetler, the White House spokesman, I mean, sorry, CNN host, uh, <laughs> who's totally against propaganda, by the way. This is propaganda bad. Propaganda is not a good thing. <laughs> Journalists need to be straight. He um, had a, a screenshot that I want to show you on CNN, a headline there, where it says, Saki promises to share accurate information. How refreshing. Now, there was pushback in the, on this Chiron. That's the bottom part where the words are, right? And he responded by tweeting, I wrote the Chiron. <laughs> you see, I mean, it's so cute. That it's great. I don't know why. I mean, I I, I appreciate the fact that uh, that Jen and her team are out there, but at some point they should just give the uh, 
the Brian Stetlers and friends over there just White House passes and say, come on and do the rest of the work for us because you're already acting as spokespeople? Let's be serious for a second, okay? As I've been on the other end of this, as you have as well, Sean, in the Trump administration. CNN, I remember when, back in the Gulf War, when people took that seriously. They had war correspondents. They put people in the middle of the sandbox, and they, they did news. That was 1990 and 1991. Today, CNN, and he'll never have me back on his show because I said it to Anderson Cooper, more people watch reruns of Yogi Bear cartoons and, you know, remake your house programs on HGTV than CNN. CNN is nothing more than a propaganda arm of the DNC. The Soviet Union had TASS, Izvestia, had Pravda. They, in the Democrat Party, have CNN, MSNBC, the Washington Post, the Daily Beast. They, this is the state Took of gun. journalism. That, <laughs> it's a long list, sadly. On the other side, there's Newsmax and a couple of others. There's Salem Radio. But this, this is, these are not journalists. And we must, let's be serious, we cannot call these people journalists. No. They're not. They're activists and propagandists. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I mean, yeah. that's, it, it is funny. They're the ones who rail against propaganda, Seb. And then they sit there and joke about these chirons and these headlines. It's amazing. Seb Gorka, Le you never disappoint. That's what I love about having you on. We try, we try. And remember, in North Korea, they don't have chirons like that. But Stelter is proud. Of but they don't have CNN. If they get CNN there, <laughs> then they will. I will I look forward to seeing you soon, my friend. God bless. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.